Lately, the internet's been buzzing with a mind-boggling question that's caught everyone's attention. Why did NASA give up on exploring the ocean? Hold up, did NASA even get into ocean exploration in the first place? Now, when you think NASA, the last thing that pops into your head is usually ocean exploration. I mean, come on, we've all been taught that NASA is all about reaching for the stars, not diving into Earth's oceans. But, surprise, recent whispers and hints suggest there's more to NASA's game plan than just intergalactic adventures. Believe it or not, NASA might have secretly dipped its toes into ocean exploration, aiming to unravel mysteries that connect not just to the sea, but also to the great unknowns of space. But what's the big deal about exploring the ocean anyway? Well, for starters, Earth isn't called the Blue Planet for nothing. A whopping 70% of our home is draped in oceans. Yet, despite this colossal coverage, a mere 5% of these watery expanses have been explored. Why the lag? Limited resources and technology have slammed the brakes on deeper ocean exploration. That untapped 95% sparks a wildfire of curiosity within us. It's mind-boggling that we might know more about the terrain of distant planets like Mars and the Moon than we do about the mysteries lurking in our very own ocean depths. Enter NASA, aiming to rewrite this narrative. They're gearing up for what could be a groundbreaking mission set to unravel the mysteries that have long haunted the ocean's uncharted territories. Think about it. From submerged icebergs to underwater volcanic eruptions, even the legendary Bermuda Triangle and its enigmatic whirlpools, the ocean is the birthplace of it all. And that's just the start. Imagine a bustling world beneath the surface, teeming with life. Countless underwater creatures are not just surviving, but thriving in seemingly uninhabitable conditions. But wait, there's more. Recent discoveries reveal that Earth's ocean depths share uncanny similarities with the conditions found on other planets within our solar system. They might just hold the keys to unlocking the search for extraterrestrial life. It's like the ocean's depths are a cosmic treasure map guiding scientists towards potential discoveries beyond our wildest imaginations. Known as the Hadal Zone or the Hadapelagic Zone, this is the ocean's ultimate frontier nestled within its deepest trenches. Named after Hades, the Greek deity ruling the underworld, this area embodies an otherworldly foreboding nature plummeting a staggering 11 kilometers, 6.8 miles. Beneath the ocean's surface, it's a realm of profound depths, characterized by trenches and troughs that stretch across an expanse equivalent to the size of Australia. Yet only a select few vehicles have braved the challenges of exploring this dark and daunting abyss. NASA's scientists are delving into oceanic depths, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of life on Earth by investigating the enigmatic Hadal Zone. This interest heightened in 2019 when NASA forged a partnership with the World Whole Organization Institution following confirmations of ice-covered liquid water oceans on Jupiter's moons Europa and Ganymede, along with Saturn's moons Enceladus and Titan. Remarkably, NASA applies a similar lexicon and methodologies to those used in space exploration. In recent years, marine biologists have deployed multiple landers equipped with sensors and cameras, plunging them to crash land onto the floor of the Hadal zone to gather essential measurements and data. In 2008, Nereus was unveiled, a pioneering vehicle designed for autonomous or remote-controlled deep-sea exploration. Tragically, in 2014, the Nereus likely imploded due to overwhelming pressure during a trench dive, halting communication seven hours into its planned nine-hour mission. Subsequent debris sightings confirmed its catastrophic fate, marking the end of its operational life. Following this setback, a collaborative effort between WHOI and NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory 
led to the development of a new frontier in oceanic exploration, a fleet of Hadal autonomous underwater vehicles. Among them, Orpheus emerged as the successor to the ill-fated Nereus. This advanced AUV, employing sophisticated visual navigation reminiscent of NASA's Perseverance Mars rover, utilizes high-resolution cameras to meticulously chart the ocean floor. With precision, Orpheus constructs detailed 3D maps teeming with crucial landmarks and seabed features. Engineered to be smaller, lighter and more agile, Orpheus promises unparalleled access to unexplored trenches and vents. Its adaptability, integrated with NASA's cutting-edge software, enables dynamic reconfiguration of mission objectives on the fly. Researchers unearthed astonishing life, thriving in the unfathomable depths of the Hadal Zone. Despite the crushing pressure of 15,000 pounds per square inch, these organisms not only survived, but flourished. Their survival perplexed scientists until they discovered piezolites, enzymes that shield cellular structures from the intense pressure, allowing these creatures to feed on organic matter like animal carcasses, feces, and drifting marine snow. This revelation drew striking parallels between Earth's ocean and other celestial watery worlds. Take Jupiter's moon, Europa, for example, boasting a saltwater ocean two times the volume of Earth's oceans hidden beneath an icy crust. Similar to the Hadal Zone's extreme pressure, Europa's subsurface pressure remains comparable. NASA sees a crucial connection. The technology capable of exploring Earth's forbidding Hadal Zone could mirror exploration on distant moons like Europa. By using the Earth's ocean floor as a testing ground, scientists aim to develop mission-critical technology for exploring extraterrestrial ocean worlds. Despite its challenges, initiatives like Orpheus may mark the dawn of a new era in this pioneering endeavor. In 2017, NASA embarked on the Systematic Underwater Biogeochemical Science and Exploration Analog Project, bridging the realms of space and oceanic investigation. Conducting two missions utilizing remotely operated vehicles to explore hydrothermal vents in the Pacific Ocean, the initiative aimed to locate deep-sea regions resembling anticipated activity on celestial bodies like Enceladus. Come 2024, NASA plans to dispatch the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover to the Moon's South Pole. This robotic rover aims to analyze water ice near the lunar crater Nobile, potentially a resource for rocket fuel or essential hydration. Despite its terrestrial focus, the lunar rover confronts comparable technical obstacles to those encountered in underwater exploration. Researchers found parallels between volcanic activity near Hawaii's Loihi Seamount and the Gorda Ridge off the California-Oregon coast, potentially mirroring conditions on Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. The subsea missions contributed invaluable insights into the geology, chemistry and life forms thriving around these vents, aiding scientists in understanding these oceanic phenomena. Studies reveal the Hadal Zone hosts a unique and thriving ecosystem adapted to endure extreme pressures, frigid temperatures, and profound darkness. While future projects may involve sending robots to Europa and Enceladus, NASA has poised itself to leverage insights from deep ocean exploration for upcoming space missions. Every step in exploring distant worlds grants us insights into Earth's most enigmatic realms, as NASA ventures into uncharted territories, each discovery enriches our understanding of the least explored facets of our home planet. Thank you for joining us on this awe-inspiring journey of exploration and discovery. If you found this voyage through the ocean's depths and beyond fascinating, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating insights 
that navigate the unexplored territories of Earth and space. Let's remember, each revelation propels us toward a deeper understanding of our place in the universe, unveiling the wonders that lie both above and beneath.